okay a big project I've been wanting to do uh, finally pieces are falling in place for it is on the on the back of sketchy I want to have two sets of rims for it I want to do some 16s and some 15s and the reason for that is we plan on using it for burnouts and we don't always have access to a bunch of junk 16 inch tires or 15 inch tires so I figure if I have both sets of rims and more tires available for doing burnouts with and as you can see right now I have a dually rim just sitting on there uh, I'm not running duals on it uh, I like the look of the duals like I have on front as far as the, the dual wheel goes I like the looks of that so what I'm going to do in back is I'm going to mimic that look got these 15 inch six lug spoke wheel wagon wheel whatever you want to call them that I'm going to do up a, a pair of those for the back here and what what my plans are is to cut the center out to the same diameter of the inside of the wheel so it's a good tight fit and then using the existing center piece I'll have the wheel sitting down there that will ensure that it's square and it's flush and then I'll I'll do my welds on it and then I can go back and cut that back section out of the way and uh, go back and get any welds I can get from the from the back side of it uh, this vehicle will probably never be ran on the highway I know there's gonna be a lot of concerns about wobble and all that well if it wobbles I won't use it but if I can make it work I'll make it work okay what I'm gonna do now is I'm working on I'm gonna go ahead and make this cutting jig so I can cut uh, even circle on this wheel so I can cut the center out of it so I can weld it into a different wheel and that's that's the plan anyway so I'm thinking at this point I need an upright piece that I can clamp my torch onto have enough adjustability to it that I can get my angle cut right This, I got a black mark on here, which kind of symbolizes where my cut line is going to be at. doesn't need to be a real strong weld this is just a temporary jig that I'll tear apart when I'm done with it and use it for something else So in editing the footage for this video, I realized I really didn't cover the jig itself that I'm going to be using, uh, so I'll go ahead and cover it briefly here. Okay, what I have started out as a as half of a twin I-beam suspension on a F-350 Ford truck. In fact, it was the original front axle out of Rat Dooley uh, before I swapped it over to a Crown Vic front suspension but I welded it turned the knuckle as far as it go welded it solid then then welded that little base onto it and then you watched me in the video 
weld that onto it. But that's gives me a good solid jig that holds it nice and true. I had used the setup without this piece on it earlier. Uh, when I for Rat Dooley, Rat Dooley, I have these faux dual front wheels that I made with the Crown Vic wheel with the dually centerpiece welded onto it. And I used the same jig for it to cut out the center section, welded onto the wheel. And uh, it actually surprised me, it was very balanced and uh, hasn't been an issue. Fine with that. Just a little bit more off there. Should probably do with a grinder. Using the same. This is something I thought about doing before. It not really seem to be an issue yet, but go ahead and do it now. When I did this setup with my plasma cutter, of course it made for a lot cleaner, a lot cleaner cut, and I didn't have to do as much cleanup. On this rusty rim. Okay, what what you didn't see was earlier when I cut the center out of this rim. 
this this was inside of there and I cut it out earlier so you didn't miss anything there it, once again the whole whole reason for this exercise is I want to maintain the dually look as far as the, the bolt pattern in that but I want a wider 15 inch wheel probably run like a uh, wore out mud tire on it and that's what I was going to do just the tack trying to keep the heat evenly spaced around it make sure everything's still straight that seems pretty true Give that a chance to cool off. And, uh, try it out on the wheel, or on the hub. And we'll find out. I think it turned out pretty good. As you can see, it draw up on there, and it's just perfect on the. Uh, for my spacing because this is a 15 it wouldn't be able to fit flush up on there anyway so it's still a little bit hanging off i think that will do once it everything gets a chance to cool off go back over hit some more welds on it clean it up double check my welds maybe do some welding from the inside with the wire feed welder and uh but i'm going to call that done I'm Glenn for DMP Custom Fabrications. Please share, subscribe, like, dislike, comment below. And until next time, I'm living the dream till the freaking phone rings. Thanks for watching.